Welcome back. Sophia Hudson has been working very hard throughout the show to create this beautiful cookie wreath. It's so gorgeous. Are you happy with how it turned out? I am. It's a lot of pressure to do that in an hour. It is. And you were working to like the last second, right yeah. before we were coming out right. um, after the commercial. I'm like, okay, 10 seconds. Here we go. Here we go. But you did it. You did it. Do you have just as much fun creating the wreath as you do baking the cookies? I do. It's, it's something unusual for us. We only do it at this time of year and really only for special occasions. So. Now you have you have kids, so yes. uh, a five-year-old. Yes. Uh, will they be involved in in decorating cookies in the future? Yes, definitely for definitely around the house, and he loves to stick his finger out for icing. So. <laughs> He's like, or if you mess up a cookie, is it like I'll oh, take yes. the one that yes. you messed up, right? Yeah, there's always a taker for the messed up one. Okay, now so in terms of the um, the, the patterns that you use, do you just have a, a great press or some cookie cutters uh, that you use? We have all different cookie cutters. We have probably a thousand at this point in time, and mm -hmm. we can modify one to be something else. Okay, now in terms of the, the, the decorations being edible, we have to talk about this. Yes. They really are? Do they taste yes. good? Yes, they're just made like of Like this sugar. is edible. No, that, those oh, are these are not. These are not, those no. Those are But, but this all is. of the silver beads that you see here on the actual cookies are. And that's this the is edible, edible glitter. glitter. Yes. Okay, I'm going to try some. I'm going for it. <laughs> I don't Do you think mind? it tastes like much, but. Oh. Mm. Tastes like I'm eating paper. <laughs> <laughs> So I just say paper, the, folks. It's just the decoration <laughs> in the end. What do you love most about baking cookies? What's you know, is it a childhood memory that you you know? You know, for us, it's just the fun of that. It's always something different for every person that orders. So it's always a completely customized assortment just for them. I love that. Okay, now this piece is being donated to Diffa's Holidays by Design event. Now, Randall Schnick is here to accept this beautiful piece. Come on in. Hi there. How are you? What do you think? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. It's amazing. It makes you want to eat it, doesn't it? A little bit. A little yeah. bit. I don't have much of a sweet tooth, but I'm tempted. <laughs> so we will see. It's so beautiful. Now, where yeah. is this going to be um, used? It's through your Diffa event. Yeah, for sure. We've um, done this event now 10 years, so um, we're doing Holidays by Design a week from the tomorrow, actually, mm -hmm. on the 16th. Um, it'll be at the Bean Hanger at the Roastery. Um, so we've got tons of wreaths, and then this year we've also added holiday decor as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then some other great, you know, local artisan items like jewelry and pottery and things like that. So, but the wreaths are kind of the, you know, mm -hmm. showpiece, because that's what this event is about. It's about holiday decor and bringing it into your home. So all the money goes back to aid service organizations mm -hmm. throughout the community. It all stays local. So this is great. It's an awesome addition. Tell us about Diffa for folks at home that don't know anything. Yeah, about. well, Diffa is Design Industry Foundation Fighting AIDS. Um, and next year we'll actually be celebrating our 25th anniversary here in Kansas City. So uh, we've been doing this for 25 years. Started with Dining by Design, which is our big spring event. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, that's the thing about it is all the money kind of comes from people locally and mm -hmm. then stays locally. So it's a great, great cause. And love to see talented artists come together Indeed. and make amazing pieces that folks at home can take home and enjoy. Yeah. Let's bring Michael in. Sophia, gold star for you because I think this is our first almost edible piece of art <laughs> that has ever been created on our show. And I think more importantly, are there any leftover cookies that I can There's a whole okay. <laughs> okay. So that's awesome. Eye in them. Now what do you put on after this? You're gonna we shellac do, We this. do shellac it. So don't don't try and eat the, the finished <laughs> one. But we always have cookies. So available. folks at home they can create this. They should yes. shellac it afterward yes. and it kind of preserves it yes. so that it'll last. Yes. And last for years. I, it, you know, so far I think we've got one that's going on three years. So wow, they last wow, a while. three years. Wow. There you okay. go. All right. Well, coming up.